Hello, you Ipath experts. Welcome to the botsdna.com. So here uh, I come with a new project called Miseva Contracts. So here you can see. So today's in this video we will discuss about the requirement of the what is that Miseva Contracts. What we have to do or so how to develop the robot. So what the robot has to do. So let's click on this. Navigate to the botsdna.com and click on this Miseva Contracts. Here there is a Miseva Contracts are there. Here, there is a each and every center. Actually, so Miseva is a, 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 a center, so where you can get the multiple things. Or so, uh, like so, other change and uh, ration card update and uh, so what, right? So different kind of things you can just do. So this is a one center. So each individual village having the their own Miseva center. It's a government related uh, uh, activities so they will do. So they just for the public. So here. Just imagine here, okay. So each card you are seeing is a uh, one center details. So what the robot has to do, robot has to update the contact details. So with the latest contact details, they will update in the website. So but uh, here this is a different website. So they we have to update the Miseva Center contacts also here. So here there is a conditions. So let us see one by one. The first one I will explain. So the, the same thing you have to do for the, the robot has to do for the all the centers, all the centers, okay. So this is a code, right? This is a code. And this is a code for this village, okay. This is a code for this village, okay. This is a code for this village. And the uh, each code has a village name and primary contact and secondary contact. If you observe few contacts, it does not have a, a secondary contact, only the primary. So few contacts having the both. And there is a different things like, so here there is no primary, there is no secondary, right? So here also there's a primary, but there's no secondary. So, right? So different type of data is there. So what we have to do, if there is no primary, there is no secondary. What we have to do, what the robot has to do, if there is a primary and there's no secondary. What, what the robot has to do, if there is a primary and secondary is there, but whether it is a latest phone number or not, latest contact number or not. So if it is only not latest contact number, what we have to do, if it is already latest contact number, what we have to do. Let us see now. <clears throat> I'm just simply taking the, the first case, so there is some cases. So if you just click on this PDF, so you can understand. So what is what we have to do? Okay, Miseva contact update automation. So robot must get village name from here and search that village name by using here. So it's like a so village name and space Miseva space center space phone space number. Okay, this is a search string. Okay, so the robot has to search for this, and you will find the phone number in this pattern. So there is a zero in, in front, in the middle, there is a space also you can observe, okay. So it has to copy, the robot has to copy that number. And here is a condition, step four having the conditions, okay. These are all steps, step four has a condition. So first condition, if there is no primary contact available in the card, action. So what is the action if, for this condition? Action, update the latest contact from the Google in, in primary contact field. So if there is no empty, if the primary contact is empty, in that case, what we have to do, we have to pick whatever the uh, latest contact we are picking from the Google, just update that into the primary. This is a small example. So it is updated in the primary contact. So next condition two, primary contact is not empty. Uh, primary contact is not empty and uh, primary contact is in, in the card uh, and uh, latest contact is, is not same because so primary contact having the number, but the thing is uh, the both are not same. See both, both are same, sorry. See primary contact is not empty and primary contact in the card and latest contact from the Google are same. So see here, five nines and two, three and two triple uh, double eight. Okay, so if you search in here also the same number, right? If the both are same, what is the, what is the, if the both are same and primary contact is already there, they already updated with the latest phone number. So action is no action, do, no need to do any changes in that particular card. So go to the condition three, primary contact is not empty. That means it has the number and secondary contact is empty and primary contact is in the card and is not same as a latest contact. So see here, if you observe the contact, primary contact number, it is not exactly the same. 
number which updated in the Google latest phone number. So, and the secondary is empty. Primary is not empty. Secondary is empty, but primary contact number which is available in the card is not same with the Google latest number. Right? So, with the, with the number which we are getting from the Google search, right? So, what is the action? So, copy the existing primary contact to the secondary contact. So, because as the secondary contact is empty, we will we'll copy the primary contact as a secondary contact. Copy that from first text box to the next text box and update the latest contact number in the latest contact number from the Google to the primary contact code. Okay, that is us condition number three. Let's go to the condition number four. Primary contact is not empty and secondary contact is not empty and primary contact number is not same as same and primary contact in code is not same as the latest. See, primary and secondary is not same. Here the multiple conditions. Condition number four contains a primary is not empty, secondary is not empty, and the primary and secondary is not both are same. Two different numbers we have. Not only that, there is a last condition like a primary contact which is available in the code is not same as latest contact available in the Google search, okay, right? This is a condition. In that case, what is the action we have to do? Copy the existing primary contact number and append to the existing thing, see here. So you have to append that primary contact which is not same in the Google, uh, in the secondary contact, append in before, not the after, okay? So you can observe the both the cards above and below, okay? So the secondary contact is, so primary contact, comma, secondary contact, we are just pasting into the secondary contact. And so we're just copying the up latest update, the latest uh, uh, the number which is coming from the Google search in here, primary contact. Okay, so that's it. Uh, yeah, that's it. So the only the four conditions and the step five is repeat the step one, four, four, one to four, all cards throughout the, all the centers, throughout the all the centers, okay? So note here, contact number must not allow spaces. So because if you search in the Google, the Google will give the spaces, middle space, and zero is also there. But the second condition is the contact number should not start with zero, okay? So once you all cards are updated, bot has to click on the update contact information button. So if any errors, if any contact having the starts with the zero, if any contact which the bot updated is having the empty space, then it will show errors. It is unable to update. This is a small example, okay. So, and also it will um, change the border color to the red to identify. If everything is good, no spaces, no zero starts, then it is success. That's it, that's it, my friends. Let's see how we can just search for one thing copy and uh, and this uh, taking the new google what is that one so name me seva me seva center phone number so see here so we got this one but actually so what what is this so this is a totally different five to five ends with but here totally different. So what we have to do? So we have to just take this one, cut, go here as we already have the secondary contact, keep the comma subjected and copy this one, paste here, remove the spaces, remove the zero at the stop. So like that, so suppose for example, in this case, in this case, what we have to do, so just use the same thing, and just replacing the village name, the center, you can find this one. So what is this? There is a number, primary number, but the primary number is not same with the Google's actual latest number. But what we have to do? We have to cut here and paste in the secondary and go here, copy this one without zero, without source with the zero and paste here without space. Okay, so if you just see this one, so there is no primary, there is no uh, secondary, right? Paste. You can find directly just copy as we don't have a primary, we don't have a secondary, just paste in the primary itself and remove the space. 
some sometimes this is actually so the primary is the same whatever you are having this one that is that is the same so then in that case don't update okay just no action right that's what we learned here no action in the condition number two no action so the it's a it's a not empty but here there is no action okay yeah that's it so just keep uh try to automate so this process so we have to keep on doing these kind of things every uh, 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 yearly ones or quarterly ones. They will change the numbers. They will uh, change the center persons. They will just transfer or something like a, uh, they will just uh, transfer to the other persons, right? So the other persons details will update, right? Quarterly ones it has to run and it has to update, okay? So once everything is updated, so what we have to do? So we have to just click on the submit button. So if you have any spaces, if we have any zeros in the middle, so if you have spaces, if you click on this one, so it will throw error. So, so then, and also it will show, so where is the error? So, so you have to correct that one maximum. So make sure that, so you should not get any, this kind of things, uh, uh, errors on these things also. See, updated successfully. So I would no errors, no red marks. Okay. Thank you very much. So please practice. So <clears throat> this bots DNA is used to uh, getting the hands-on experience for the who are learning the RP tools, any RP tool. So any RP tool in the market, just practice. Come here and get hands-on experience. Whatever you learn in the different uh, courses or YouTube or uh, so different academies. So just practice here. So you have a multiple systems and sample data and multiple things are available here. Thank you very much for supporting me. Bye-bye.